I'm very happy to be here this evening to share my vision of uh, uh, next digital evolution. What uh, I'd like to start uh, is uh, mm, uh, with something that's associated to human, all human beings, that is uh, uh, the instinct. Uh, <laughs> it's something, the instinct is something that uh, uh, no one has to learn or no one has to improve. It's a behavior. It's a behavior that um, Mm, that anyone has from birth, so it's innate in us. Uh, so when uh, we do use it, in general, the instinct uh, is used when we are mm, threatened in, uh, to, to lose everything we have uh, or uh, we are frightened to, uh, to die. In such a cases, uh, in such situation, uh, human beings uh, mm, try to, uh, to uh, avoid this uh, by the instinct and try to be uh, and try to survive. Uh, so surviving is a, is a, is a sort is a something that is, is part of our everyday life, and it takes it takes uh, it uh, requires a little bit of uh, um, efforts. Uh, every, a lot of degree of effort, so whether we like it or not. So, um, what we, um, in general, uh, subconsciously, um, subconsciously, we try to avoid. We try to avoid uh, dangerous or inconvenient, inconvenient uh, situation. Uh, so, what, what, what do we do in that situation? Um, once one, one, one solution is to avoid uh, unforeseen situation, to avoid uh, unpredictable situation. In this case, uh, in, other, in other terms, uh, we have to avoid uh, in, in subconsciously uh, surprises. Uh, we like uh, uh, mm, falling apart, uh, could be around the corner. So if uh, the surprise uh, will have a bad and negative surprises, uh, we can fall apart. Mm, so, what's, what's the, uh, what the recipe that, that never fails in this case? Um, uh, in few words, uh, we have to uh, fight against our nihilism. In other words, mm, mm, stiffness is uh, dangerous, is, is a dangerous uh, uh, situation that uh, could, uh, okay, uh, could make some, uh, to, to make some, uh, uh, mm, no, <laughs> stiffness is not good because, uh, be, be, because uh, um, we don't, uh, mm, uh, we, we can make a lot of, mm, we can waste time on solving uh, problems. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, mm, we, we, can, we can have the bad surprise. So uh, the only way forward uh, is to make uh, the real a real change, is to, is to be found in a real changes. I believe that uh, there is an uh, um, algebra equation uh, supporting changes as values, as real values. In, ad uh, in other terms, uh, um, the value has to be found uh, uh, the, to be mm, to be worth it. To be worth it, the change, the value has to be found within it. So uh, mm, the point is that we need a certain enlightenment if we have to overcome this situation. Um, in this case, uh, uh, mm, we have to uh, uh, think about we have to think about uh, barriers. We have to think about barriers not as obstacles, but as uh, uh, real opportunities. So we have to mm, knock them down uh, in a positive attitude and, uh, uh, and build a, a, a new changing path. Um, going back to the micro topic, uh, that is the digital world, uh, 
we, we, um, if we think about the universe of users, uh, the internet of users, um, we, we have uh, uh, an everlasting barrier, an everlasting barrier that uh, uh, in, in last 30, 40 years, that is technology. Technology could be uh, a, a barrier for everybody. Okay, everybody, everyone uh, look at technology in a different way. Consider mm, digital natives. Are, mm, the digital natives are techno-savvy, so uh, they are not similar to other people. So mm, let me say, Techno the use of technology is, a so is not a natural gift, it's a sort of medium. So, it could be a barrier. The, um, the, 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 the value, the real value that could turn the table is uh, uh, to make technology transparent. So, that's why I put this slide, the transparency in value. Um, mm, to be transparent, uh, technology has to be part of our everyday life. So how could be, in this case, uh, uh, transparent? The transparency could be uh, in, uh, in the, product that, uh, the, the product of everyday, uh, everyday life. So, um, so the product is the new uh, revolution that could be uh, done in this way with this uh, philosophy. Uh, consider that uh, consider that uh, um, the product could be uh, could, could have a, a rebuilt, reinvented, and uh, built with the technology built in. So they so mm, all the users, all the consumers can can use, can consume uh, these new mm, goods. Uh, in a transparent way with the technology. Uh, in, a, in, in, other, in, a, in other terms, we are talking about the Internet of Things, that is the, uh, what is the, the, back, the breakthrough that we are experiencing now in the uh, um, digital world. It refers uh, to, it refers to um, the, in, the uh, Internet connection of uh, everyday products, and uh, are related to a multitude, uh, a, a pervasive uh, presence of uh, uh, a multitude of elements around us as um, RFID uh, tags, uh, sensor adapters, uh, uh, um, a smartphone. In the vision of Internet of Things, uh, uh, objects will no longer be inanimated because they have an, in, an intelligence inside. And so, for this reason, uh, there will be new, will be created a new uh, way of consumption of products. Uh, in conclusion, the Internet of Things is a paradigm aimed at uh, uh, physical digital convergence uh, and, adapt and can be adapted to lot many, lot of business areas from automotive, food, uh, LT, um, retail, commerce, social, home, energy, many other. But the Internet of Things is not just a mega trend, actually, because uh, it's a reality. It's a reality supported by mm, three important elements. Uh, the first element is that we are experiencing a shift uh, in the production uh, of products. Um, now manufacturing is, uh, uh, mm, is becoming uh, a combination between of uh, digital and personal manufacturing. So uh, what is more is becoming more important is design uh, instead of production. Mm, in other way, in, a, in other terms, uh, we need, uh, we don't need uh, anymore huge factory to to uh, to produce uh, products, but we need small scale enterprises. 
Be, uh, be, uh, another, another thing very important to this, uh, uh, to this uh, mm, shift uh, is that uh, the diffusion of uh, 3D printers and uh, laser cutters is sustaining uh, the culture based on the IY. That is uh, mainly the, the, the real engine of this uh, evolution. Uh, the other element is that uh, is the um, diffusion of computer of cheap computers that brings uh, that brings that bring uh, the power of computing to millions of people. Consider that fifty dollars for a mini computer can replace our desktop. Amazing. Uh, so consider. Um, um, so, in, in a, as a matter of fact, a uh, uh, lot of there is a movement around this. Uh, there's uh, com com made up by artists, uh, uh, designers, uh, or uh, um, uh, or inventors, or anyone uh, um, interested in in, uh, in, uh, in creating interactive products and environments that can use uh, uh, um, uh, prototyping platform. Uh, very cheap as Arduino. Now, the internet population is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, last uh, percentage, uh, last uh, um, according to last surveys, um, the percentage of uh, internet user in, uh, in in Europe is around 63 percent at average, whereas in the world 30 percent. Huge. But going back to the products, <laughs> clear improvement make customer buy this new product. This is the point. So it's very important to uh, mm, emerge real, uh, real value added. So in this case, uh, uh, new feature, a future of uh, um, new feature of the products uh, that are to be have to be uh, uh, identified and perceived by the consumer if they want to uh, to find the motivation to change their habits. Consider that people are always eager for meaningful values, so they are ready for this evolution. People, consumers. Uh, could uh, could foresee new horizon, uh, leveraging on behaviors and new functionalities. So uh, it's a big, huge revolution for them, for their habits. Um, they have to. Uh, they don't have to be afraid uh, to change their habits because uh, what I said before, they have to try. They have to try to find a very. Uh, mm, a, a very clear improvement. But at the end, what's the big question? The big question is, are brands uh, ready to face these uh, product revolutions? For the moment, brands uh, are, mm, seems to be mm, more... Mm, fe the feeling is that there uh, seems to be uh, following the trends, they are very interesting on the trends, but they don't have, uh, they don't have uh, uh, the really, um, um, they don't have make the, the, the next step to, to, to have a concrete policy. At times, uh, as I said before, people seem to be more ready than brands in this, in such evolution. So, the point is that uh, mm, brands uh, has to uh, uh, has to uh, be more optimistic, uh, has to be more uh, risky with the experiments, mm, because uh, if they don't do that, uh, we are mm, uh, we don't we, they don't think about the future in a good way. Uh, in Italy. The situation is not so good. Uh, we have a lot of com lot of lot of companies that uh, wh where business uh, units are not uh, don't work uh, 
for a unique goal and vision. Uh, managers especially here mm, don't, uh, don't like to raise the game, don't like to raise the game and are uh, scared of failure and are obsessed of uh, business forecast. So uh, they need a, a breakthrough. A possible solution is a design. Brand has have to um, start to, to, to design, they uh, have to start to design the, mm, the consumption of their products. Because they, uh, the design is behavior. It's not only appearance, it's behavior. My last message is, okay, we are experiencing a new mm, beginning. Brands have to overcome the current customer deadlock and seize uh, the moment if they want to be if they want to survive in the future thank you